Cornbury House Horse Trials, 11th to the 15th of September, very much on the horizon. And the man and the passion behind this great event coming back is David Howden. David, great to be here. What a setting. Oh, thank you, Alice. Well, very excited again. This is our fifth horse trials coming, as you know. So very exciting. And we got it going in 2020. People thought we were absolutely crazy, of course, because that was during COVID and lots of people we're actually shutting events down, so it's very exciting in the work indeed. <laughs> William and I were talking about Cornbury, yeah. and I remember riding around the advanced here in the 90s, and it was such a special place. And the excitement within the sport at all levels, from the top guys down to the grassroots, that you could bring this back. It, it, and the sort of level that you've brought it back to so quickly is amazing. Where does that passion come from? When I moved here, a great friend of mine, Luis Munoz, said, David, there used to be a horse trials at Cornwall. You've just got to, got to do it. And of course, by then, Jemima, my middle daughter, was starting to event, competing. And I thought, well, why not? You're in this wonderful setting, this amazing place. I love eventing. Let, let's bring the horse trials back. But there's such a different feel about Cornbury because you as a family are so invested in this, not only through Jemima and that amazing relationship she's had with the horse for six years and the elite athlete that she is, but also just with you and Fee enjoying having and hosting top level sport. Yeah, well, it, it, the idea always was to really put on something really special for the riders because we were passionate about the eventing and we wanted to put on something that actually the riders thought this is amazing. And that's why we had this focus also on both the young horses and on, and on the youth championships. But then it was particularly about actually how would we and family enjoy it? I, I'd been to other events where you go to and you see your daughter disappear <laughs> off and you don't see her again for, and you, all you're doing is listening, hoping that you don't hear any bad news. So we wanted to create a course that was amazing. Actually, as you know, when you rode here, it was down the park. As you know now, as it's up on the hill, you can see lots of the course. And that's because exactly, I really felt that venting needs this interaction between these great athletes, they're amazing horses, but also the community around that. And that very much includes our family. Your understanding of the horse and your understanding of the pathway that the horse needs to go on to get to being that elite athlete that we all hope to have, the five-star champions, I, um, very much has been the sort of storyline of this. So having the five-year-old, six-year-old and seven-year-old national championships for the sport is wonderful to have it at this iconic event, particularly since we've lost Gatcom. Yeah, I know it really does. And when you know, asked David Evans to, to build the course, we wanted to build an educational course because we, we knew we had the passion to be about bringing on young riders and of course, bringing on the young horses. And to have those championships here was very important athletes, all the top equestrians are coming to Cornbury, they're coming here with their young horses, they're training up, and that's a really important part of it. And I think, you know, Cornbury, if you come, as you know, it, it is an amazing spectacle. And, you know, horses, young horses are like, wow, what's this? And yeah. the flags are there and the people are there. And that's what you want. The learning is not just about the course, or the show jumping course, it's also about the whole event and the experience they get, etc. So really important to create an event, I think, that really is about bringing on the young riders and the young horses. And the exposure the horses get, as you said, to the just razzmatazz of <laughs> yeah. everything that's going on. Yeah. The other thing is, is giving those pony riders and the young riders the opportunity to be competing on the same stage as the Rosses, the Lauras, the Toms, the Ollies, the William Fox Pits. You know, that is very, very special because, again, that exposes them to that razzmatazz, having those, those two, the open classes, of course, but the pony and the young rider um, under 21 classes. Yeah, I, it's a really good point. So I know it's having, you know, daughters who have entered, their excitement that they might actually be warming up next to one of the great riders. If they go, oh my God, there's Ross Cantor over there. Oh, oh my God, there's Laura Ollie. That, that, that means a huge amount to these young kids. Mm. It really makes them, how many sports do you get the opportunity to do that? Mm. So I think to have somewhere where they can come, you know, compete. We've got the amazing dressage here in front of the house or the show jumping arena we created in front of the grandstands. And to know that you're competing on the same hallowed grand as some of the great Olympians or great runs, it's very, it's very important for them.